I always say the best time to hydrate for today was yesterday. This heat can kill you. So you gotta beat the heat. You can't let it beat you. In advertising, it's really important to grab people's attention so that you can give them your message. Sign spinning is really effective for that purpose because it starts by getting your attention. Not only does it get your attention, but it then delivers whatever the message is that's actually on the sign. Sometimes the message is also part of the way the person is dressed. Not only will it grab your attention and cause your eye to pull over to see what they're doing, but you're also more likely to watch them for an extended period of time. What are they going to do next? My name is Cody Norman. I own Cool Cat Street Level Promotions, but I'm better known as the Cool Cat. About 11 years ago, some skateboarders down in San Diego, California, they got a job holding signs. And then they started doing tricks with this sign and went, hey, this is cool. And, and that's how it was born. It's really a retro idea. Uh, it's, it harkens back to the sandwich board sign that the people used to wear with a sign on the front and back. And they'd walk up and down the street. And it's a similar format to that. Today you see mannequins out, motorized mannequins that are spinning signs and doing the same thing. Obviously there's a cost effectiveness to that, that it's still motion and it looks like a person. So it grabs your attention. I love them because they prove what I do works. I think they're both effective, but I would bet that a real person uh, being able to jump around and throw the sign in the air is going to be more attention grabbing than the robo spinners would be. You've got to create an emotion. Well, my emotion that I evoke is a smile and a thank you, and you have a great day. And I'm going to give you every ounce of me that I have, and that shows in my performance. One day I was riding down the street looking for a job and I seen a We Buy Gold place. And I went in and I said, hey, I ain't trying to be funny, but I'm here to make you some money. And he had one of these large arrow-shaped signs. And, I, and, I, and to be honest, I had never seen sign spinning before in my life. And so I, I, I went to work, $6 an hour, <laughs> $6 an hour. And I got out there and I loved it. And it's just blossomed from that. I've noticed that several sign spinners are so theatrical that the sign itself actually gets lost in the shuffle. The sign spinning is designed to get your attention. Once you have their attention, if you're spinning your sign, you're spinning your wheels. It's not designed to convey a whole lot of information. When they get the look, smile, how you doing? pointed sign, and, and in less than a second, I've just communicated, smile, good morning, and have a great day, and check out the specialist. Are they effective? Do they get people to stop? pull off the road, pull in, buy something. Advertising is about impressions. And what an impression is, is the number of people that actually see the advertising and have it make an impression on their mind. They may not act on that sign spinner that day, but over a period of time, it might build up into a, a meaningful impression. The secret to sign spinning, in my opinion, guerrilla marketing is to make you talk about me. I call it dinner table advertising. When they see the cool cat, they get home at the dinner table, they talking about that cool cat. And when they talk about the cool cat, oh, I seen him doing it for so-and-so. I seen him over at so-and-so again. It's a form of marketing that uh, creates buzz and a, a viral marketing as well. And if you can do that, if you can get people to use your slogan or talk about your product in a positive way and then post it on their social media, you've, you've won the game. Mm -hmm. 
it's a fad. It would be interesting to see if in 20 years there's still people standing on corners spinning signs because we went for many, 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 many years without them and now it kind of seems like they're quite all over the place. But I bet you in 20 years it will not be as brisk as it is right now. Most of my clients are long term. I'm there every week at the same time, three hours a day. You know, right now I'm doing five clients this week in eight different locations. I believe that barring injury, there is no time limit because I truly believe that it's not all about the spin. I put a smile on my face, I forget all of my problems, no matter how insurmountable they are. The moment I step on the corner, I turn on the tunes, and you get the first smile, my frown's gone. <laughs>